hey, did you know that these days all the new golf carts come with DC to DC converters? The most important thing about a DC converter is it converts your voltage down to an applicable voltage where your components can handle so you don't burn them up. So what we're going to do is install a DC converter from 36 or 48 volts down to 12 for any accessory you have, like LED lights, radios, sound bars, or anything like that. Because the last thing we want to do is take our hard-earned money and burn it up within several seconds, and then costing you more money because you burn up another component on your golf cart. So the first thing we're going to do is Man, we got a beat everybody been wanting here. We're gonna make it good. All right, hit that hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you comment want to. Forward. Comment, comment. If you want to become a member, you more welcome to become a member. We're gonna do a converter here. We're we done a lithium battery. Uh, now we're gonna do a converter. First thing you want to do is we got a converter mounted down here. This is your light wire, your hot wire here. Yep, this will be your hot wire off your light so we're not doing this car here we're not doing the um converter for the lights because it has 48 volt lights we're doing the converter for we're going to install a sound bar on it so we're doing a converter for that so what we're going to do is take the converter here so we're going to take the harness to come with it and i'm not going to plug it in and get my chair charge i'm not going to plug the harness in yet we're going to do all the wiring and stuff like that before we actually go to the wire now the, what we use is we use we use uh heated we use heat shrink buck connectors they got the heat shrink on them and the solder yep give me a heat gun heat gun and a drop cord please sir um uh, see on top of the uh, top right there so what i'm gonna do now if you look at your plug here you got if you got the bolt battery with what this has you have this wire right here you have red black yellow green and blue now if you look at this just by looking at it you're going to think black and red is your hot and ground all right well it's not for some reason they do it that they, they don't do it like that they do yellow yellow is your input from the batteries all right so we need a piece of red wire. Then we're going to do the ground. We're going to take, we're going to take this here and put it on the ground. Because all we're doing is just running. Matter of fact, all right. I, I'm, I'm not going to add this. I'm not going to add these to it. What we're going to do is, uh, have me that. There should be a bag of bucket right here. All right. In the provided bag that comes with it, you have the heat shrink ions. All right, so what we're gonna do is put yellow, which is gonna be your, your hot going to your converter. So this is what powers the converter up. I mean, crimpers, Mr. Wells, you know what I had to realize too? Um, that we didn't, we're gonna have to run a wire back there. But we got a key out. Now what we're gonna do here all right, I'm going to tell you, you got your black, hot, your ground, this is your hot. This is going to be your output to your accessories. Your ground for your radio is going to go to the main negative. And then your green is your activating wire, which turns the converter on. So what I normally do is I just normally run it back here to the uh, solenoid on the blue wire, which is a hot when you turn the key on. But since we got the floorboard up on this, we're going to run it straight off the key switch. All right, so Jerry, I need a wire from here to the key switch. I'm going to take this here. Get a piece of wire. And we're going to run it to the key switch. So what I'm going to do is take it. Skin her back here. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna power up the the wire that activates the converter. And then I'm gonna hand it to my son there and let him run it to the key switch. Leave them open, please. We got a new one, son. Thank you. I didn't want to spill them. All right, just got that there. Now this is actually these pretty cool right here, man. 
Yeah, this is actually a heat connect. It's a buck connector with heat shrink Keep it right where it's at. and solder in one. So I'm going to take it and solder the ends first so the wire can't move if I move. And then I'm going to, all right, so got that. And then I'm going to melt the middle. And you can see the solder moving. All right, so now what I'm going to do is take this and I'm going to run it. Like I said, if you want to run it back here, if it's easier, you want to run it to the blue wire on the solenoid. But I'm going to take it and run it down here. That's what we're going to do is run it through there. Take it right there, there to that wire. Just pull it all the way out and then go under your side over there into the, that channel. Keep on right there, all right? Just go under, just go under that until you get to the channel. All right. All right. Now he can run it down that channel, and he's going to the key switch right here. Your key switch, you have a green and a blue wire. Your green is your constant hot. So he's going to tie into the blue wire back here. He's just going to cut this end here off and tie in a female end to both wires. All right. Now what we're going to do is take this here. That's good there. So now we're going to take this right here. And we're going to take it and melt this here. Like I said, these are the ends provided with the kit. You got a blow dryer or a lighter, man, works just as good. All right, we're gonna tie this to the, to the hot here on the battery. Now remember this now, a lot of people don't know this, all right? Your converter, even though it powers up by the key switch, all right, all you're doing is powering up the converter to allow voltage to come out. The whole time the converter's hooked up, it draws power to keep the box charged up ready to turn on all right so if you leave your converter on all your batteries it's going to draw voltage and kill your batteries while they sit there so if you're not going to use your car for a long time always unplug this harness and let it hang there because if not your batteries will be dead faster than or faster than they should be so then we're going to take a ground wire here the black and get an eye in here because we're close to the battery then we're taking crimp it, and then we'll crimp it, son. Here, take it and heat this here. Now this is a 30 amp, this is a 30 amp converter that comes with it. Alright. Don't break nothing, son. We're gonna put this on the ground. Alright, so put that on there. And then I'm gonna take. Make sure everything's ran neat under here, nothing in the way. All right, so I got this. Now I have my yellow wire, which is my output to my sound bar. So I need a wire to run from, I said wire come with the sound bar. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna run this to my accessory, which is gonna be my sound bar. But my sound bar, has its own wire so we're not going to finish this yet here but you would tie this to your output if you have if you have like the 12 volt lights you would plug you would put this like this all right and then you would put now this here the blue wire is if you want your radio to have memory then you wire it here and your radio keeps your memory and stays powered up the whole time all right but like I said, the converter will draw constant. So then what I'm going to do, plug it in. Hand me a 13 wrench, Jerry. I'm going to plug these in. So I'm going to tighten this here up. Tighten this one up. And like I said, man, see how cleaner it looks now? Because if you would have wired, if you would have wired the DC cord here to this as well, 
you would have had more crap coming up here. This year looks, I think, more professional. All right, so we got the converter wired up now. Plug it in here to my charger. And what I'm gonna do is actually plug it in and let y'all see it works. Pause it. Now you can see here now we got a converter wire, which is the uh, green wire tied to the blue wire on the on the um, key switch. So what it's gonna do, we can turn the converter on, it's gonna power up. Give me a voltmeter. So what I'm gonna do is show you how it works. What you wanna do here, turn your battery on. Here you got a battery, you hit the button, you see it light up green. All right, battery's on. All right, and what I'm gonna do is have him, when I when I tell him to turn the key on, he's gonna turn the key on and I'm gonna check output voltage on the converter. So what I'm gonna do, is hook this on my, on my ground. And then my output is going to be my red wire coming from the converter which is right here. So I'm going to take it. All right, I'm going to take it and touch, and touch the wire here. All right, turn the key on. Hold on, hold on. All right. So I'm going to take and touch it here, turn the key on. Key's on. All right, let's check voltage here. First thing you always do, touch the battery pack, make sure the meter works. Press the wrong thing. Yep. I press that because yep. the other one's like that. That's right. I then you press reset. All right, turn the key off. And we're going to turn the key on. I'm going to tell him turn, turn the key on. And you can see there we have 12 volts coming out. Turn it off. Turn the key off. All right, now it's off. All right. So right there, that's your output for our, our radio. But all right, man, stay tuned, man. I'll post some more.